As moving to Scandinavian countries is attractive, thanks to the high quality of life, incredible nature and stability, I would like to use the time we have to analyze the countries of Greenland, Iceland, the Faroe Islands, Denmark, Norway, Sweden and Finland in terms of climate, language, cost of living, income, quality of life, human development and security. There is no definition which countries belong to Scandinavia and I am aware that neither Greenland nor Iceland are considered part of it. Furthermore, Greenland and the Faroe Islands technically are part of Denmark, but nevertheless I think that including these territories may be interesting. The goal of this is to help you decide which Scandinavian country suits you best in case you are planning to move to one of these countries. Since this strongly depends on your personal preferences, I won't be able to tell which country you should choose, but I will for sure list some up and downsides of every Scandinavian country. First we'll analyze the seven metrics mentioned previously, followed by a conclusion at the end of the video. I will determine a score for each country and metric where one is the best and zero the worst. At the end all points will be added up and it will be clear which country performed best. And if you are interested in moving to one of the Scandinavian countries, you might want to check out the playlist containing videos about the advantages and migration procedure of many countries worldwide. Let's start with the climate. As the climate may differ greatly depending on the country's region, I will analyze the temperatures of the capital city. Nuuk with 18,000 inhabitants is the capital and by far the largest city in Greenland. The year-round average of maximum temperatures per month is at 1.8 degrees Celsius in Nuuk, 7 degrees in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, 8.6 degrees in Torshavn, the capital of the Faroe Islands, 11.1 degrees in Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, 9.9 .9 degrees in Oslo, the capital of Norway, 10.1 degrees in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, and 9.1 degrees in Helsinki, the capital of Finland. The year-round average of the lowest temperatures per month is at negative 3.7 degrees in Nuuk, 1.9 degrees in Reykjavik, 4.4 degrees in Torshavn, 5 degrees in Copenhagen, 2.3 degrees in Oslo, 3.6 degrees in Stockholm, and 3 degrees in Helsinki. One quickly notices that the climate in Nuuk is much colder, while the temperatures in Copenhagen almost appear warm. Another interesting metric is the average number of hours of sun China day. In Greenland it is at 3.9 hours, in Iceland 3.5, in Torshavn 2.3, in Copenhagen 4.2, in Oslo 4.6, in Stockholm even 5.2 and in Finland 5.1. If you enjoy higher temperatures and more hours of sunshine, then, in terms of climate, moving to Denmark or Sweden would be a good idea. The climate in Denmark is a little bit warmer, while Sweden has a little more hours of sunshine. It is important to mention that higher temperatures are considered to be better, while the number of sunshine hours count double. Then, it turns out that Sweden is the most attractive country in terms of climate. That's why Sweden gets one whole point, followed by Denmark with 0.923, Finland with 0.903, Norway with 0.903, 0.812, the Faroe Islands with 0.668, Iceland with 0.442 and Greenland with 0. Language is another significant factor to successfully integrate yourself into the country's society. In Nuuk, people speak Greenlandic, which is an Inuit language. It is known for its very long words and you can even form whole sentences consisting of just one word. Greenlandic is considered to be a language that is very difficult to learn for English speakers. Because the fact that it is not possible to measure the difficulty of learning a language, I will rank the countries in an order of 1 to 7. Compared to other languages, I would rank Greenlandic in 6th place of the easiest languages for English speakers. Icelandic on the other hand is a Germanic language and therefore easier to learn than Greenlandic. However, since Iceland is geographically isolated, it has many unique words. There are also differences in pronunciation, which is why I rank Icelandic 5th. On the Faroe Islands people speak Faroese and Danish. Faroese seems to have many similarities with Icelandic, but it is easier to learn if you already know Danish. I would rank Faroese 4th. Danish is a much broader language and also part of the Germanic languages. However, pronunciation is more difficult than in Swedish, so I would rank Danish third and Swedish second. Norwegian is ideal, because it is written like Danish and pronounced like Swedish. With knowledge in Norwegian, it is easy to learn other Scandinavian languages. In addition, knowing Norwegian will allow you to get along well in other Scandinavian countries. Therefore, I would rank Norwegian first. Surprisingly, Finnish is a completely different language and part of the Finno-Ugric languages that Estonian is also part of. Finnish is known for being one of the world's most difficult language to learn, which is the reason why I rank it at 7th place. Giving one whole point for the first ranking language and subtracting one sixth for every following rank, Norway gets one point, Sweden 0.833, Denmark 0.666, the Faroe Islands 0.5, Iceland 0.333, Greenland 0.166 and Finland 0. Next comes cost of living. 
I'll compare the cost of living in Berlin, Germany to every capital. For instance, if you make a living of 2000 euros a month in Berlin, you'll need 2850 euros for the same quality of life in Nuuk. So the cost of living in Nuuk is 1.425 times the amount you need in Berlin. This number is a good indication of how much you will need to spend when moving to a Scandinavian country. Simply multiply your current cost of living, assuming you live in Berlin, by the factor of the Scandinavian city and you will be able to estimate how expensive your life in Scandinavia will be. The factor for Reykjavik is at 1.3, the one for Copenhagen at 1.373, Oslo at 1.3, Stockholm at 1.167 and Helsinki at 1.106. Unfortunately I could not determine the cost of living in the Faroe Islands due to lack of data. But I read that life on the Faroe Islands is rather expensive because goods have to be imported. Since I assume that they are still lower than in Greenland, I would rank the Faroe Islands between 5th and 7th position. As Finland seems to have the lowest cost of living it gets 1 point followed by Sweden that gets 0.81, Norway and Iceland 0.393, Denmark 0.164, the Faroe Islands 0.083 and Greenland 0. Let's take a glimpse at how the countries are performing. Looking at the climate, language and cost of living in the capital, Sweden currently leads, followed by Norway, Finland, Denmark, the Faroe Islands, Iceland and Greenland. Let's see how these values change when considering income, quality of life, human development and security. The average annual income in 2019 was 45,547 euros or 54,200 US dollars in Greenland, 57,579 euros in Iceland, 43,128 euros in the Faroe Islands, 48,430 euros in Denmark, 45,790 euros in Norway, 39,570 euros in Sweden and 38,730 euros in Finland. Isn't it surprising that people in Finland and Sweden seem to earn less than in Greenland or the Faroe Islands? Iceland by far comes in first place and therefore receives a full point. By the way, Iceland is the country where people earn the second most worldwide. Only in Luxembourg people earn more. Switzerland is following Iceland. Second comes Denmark with a score of 0.513, Norway with 0.373, Greenland with 0.354, the Faroe Islands 0.233, Sweden 0.044 and Finland 0, as people earn the least in Finland. The idea behind moving to another country mostly lies in improving the quality of life. So let's take a look at the quality of life index and compare the Scandinavian countries in terms of this metric. According to the Numbeo quality of life index, Denmark with a value of 193 not only ranks first among the Scandinavian countries but also among the entire world. The next Scandinavian country in this index is Finland with a value of 190, followed by Iceland with 180. Sweden with 176 and Norway with 175. Again, I could not find data for Greenland and the Faroe Islands because of the fact that Greenland and the Faroe Islands under international law are part of Denmark. I have no choice but to give Greenland and the Faroe Islands a score of 0.5. Even though they belong to Denmark and quality of life therefore probably is somewhat higher. It is very important to mention that there are countless quality of life comparisons out there. Depending on the index, sometimes Denmark, sometimes Switzerland or Australia is at first place. Also also, the quality of life strongly depends on your personal preferences. Denmark gets 1 point followed by Finland with 0.833, Greenland and the Faroe Islands 0.5, Iceland 0.389, Sweden 0.056 and Norway 0 points. The Human Development Index also is an interesting metric to consider. Norway is leading worldwide with a score of 0.957 out of 1. The next Scandinavian country is Iceland with 0.938, Sweden with 0.937, Denmark with 0.93 and Finland with 0.925. Again, I didn't find any data regarding Greenland or the Faroe Islands. Norway scores 1, 0.5 Greenland and the Faroe Islands, 0.406 for Iceland, 0.375 for Sweden, 0.156 for Denmark and 0 for Finland. Especially if you plan to move with your family, security is another important metric to consider. I use the Numbeo Crime Index, where a lower value is better. As of the Numbeo Criminality Index, Iceland is the first Scandinavian country in that list, with 22 points, followed by Finland with 23, Denmark 25, Norway 37 and Sweden 44. During the last year, criminality increased in Sweden and apparently this trend is also observable in Norway. Again, there is no data on Greenland and the Faroe Islands. Iceland gets a whole point followed by Finland with 0.955, Denmark 0.863, Greenland and the Faroe Islands 0.5, Norway 0.318 and Sweden 0. One can already see that Denmark, all in all, occupies the first place in this comparison and therefore seems to be the most attractive Scandinavian country. With a total score of 
0.285, it leads considerably over Iceland. Iceland, the small isolated country in the Arctic Ocean, comes in second in this comparison, followed by Norway, Finland, Sweden, the Faroe Islands and Greenland. Let us briefly draw a conclusion about every country. In Greenland, the climate is cold with few hours of sunshine. The language is difficult to learn, the cost of living is high and incomes are comparatively low. The Faroe Islands can still score some points in climate, however incomes are low as well. Sweden scores with a great climate, many hours of sunshine, the language as an advantage and comparatively low cost of living. But there are some drawbacks in income, quality of life and security. In this comparison, Finland behaves very interestingly. It scores surprisingly well thanks to a low cost of living, good climate, high quality of life and high level of security. While in human development, income and language, it did not score any points at all. Norway scores in language, human development and climate, but needs to take some drawbacks in quality of life, high cost of living and also security. Iceland ranks second. The biggest reason for this are high wages and the high level of security. Iceland never ranks last, which is why it collects points in every metric. Denmark ranks first. It has the highest quality of life and also scores points in climate, security and language. Only the high cost of living and the comparatively low value of human development are drawbacks. So you can see that all these countries have a different profile and you would need to do your own conclusion in regards to which country fits you best. All sources are linked in the video description. Thanks for watching.